Well, Brian, I really didn't know what to expect when I came in to see this movie, Splash. I had read and heard a little bit about it, but, you know, I, I didn't know uh, a mermaid and a guy falls in love. And I, the one you heard hee-hawing the loudest was myself. Well, that's terrific. Delightful, <laughs> delightful movie. And yet, I know a little bit about the background of what you went through to get it on the screen. Five years of just on again, off again, wasn't it? It was real tough getting it made, yeah. Um, it did take five years, and it went through uh, eight changes of management, studio management. Eight changes of management actually in three different studios. So I did go through quite a bit. It, um, you pretty much have to be, uh, you have to learn how to accept the word no <laughs> and, uh, and go around it. <laughs> There were names bandied about uh, that Bo Derrick, that Warren Beatty, uh, you know, these kinds of people were at, at one point sort of involved or at least thought about. Is that right? Well, to be quite honest, what happened here is that I had this idea of doing a romantic comedy about a man and a mermaid about five years ago. About a year later, the most powerful um, producer in Hollywood had a similar sort of idea. Ray Stark. Ray Stark. And what he then did is over the years, he accumulated all of this talent. Warren Beatty, um, Herb Ross, who's a fairly prominent director, Robert Town, Academy Award winning writer, and, and himself. And, and that was my, basically my competition. Um, it was real, very difficult for, for me because at the time, you know, it got to be the point where it was Ron Howard and myself, and all we had done was Night Shift, which was a good movie and everything, but it wasn't at the same scale as these other fellows. And uh, we were real happy to get our picture made and get it out there. Uh, we'll get it out there before they will. I think your whole success story is just incredible, Brian. Here you were a clerk, a studio clerk, and in five years' time, you became uh, the producer of a movie that did very well, Night Shift. and uh -huh. now. I, I really think this one is going to be a big picture. I really do at the box office. Okay. Um, so I suppose everybody's sitting around thinking, how does a young guy do that? You know. <laughs> well, um, I start off by having a really very positive base. So in other words, I'm able to understand that when people say no to you, that's only their personal opinion. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's not good, your product isn't good. It doesn't mean that it won't ever get made. So I start off with that sort of base, being very positive. At the same time, I, I try to be extremely focused within the things that I'm trying to do. In this case, it was a movie called Splash. I really believed and I was very passionate about the idea of the movie. I was very passionate about what I thought it could ultimately be. So consequently, all I would do was think about this movie and getting it made and overcoming all of the obstacles that Hollywood can kind of pr present for you. And, um, and I think those are contributory factors as to how I got the movie made and maybe some of my success. <laughs> Does the movie meet your expectations or along the way did you have to make some compromises? Um, along the way I did make a lot of compromises. Um, the movie, once I got Ron Howard involved, which was two years ago, the movie then got back on track as to exactly what my vision was and exactly what I wanted it to be. And Ron Howard and the cast made the movie better than I ever could have wanted it to be. So I'm real happy about the picture, and I think a lot of it is due to Ron, who directed the movie. What was the budget? Uh, a little over $9 million, about $9,100,000. And I just read some figures that said the average budget now is going to be around $11 million. Isn't that ridiculous? Jeez, it's just gotten, uh, it's gotten crazy, yeah. We made the movie about uh, as lean as we could possibly do with having to go to all those locations. I know you saw that we were in the Bahamas for a month, we were in Los Angeles for a month, and New York for a month. and So consequently, we were all over, but um, yeah, it's, it was a $9 million picture, yeah. And so you were on time and, and within the budget, huh? Yes, we That's were on time and within the budget. <laughs> <laughs> um, as uh, the producer, were you concerned about all the possibilities for accidents during a shoot of this kind? Yeah, I, I was concerned, and um, I, was real, I was very glad that Ron was the director of the picture, because when you do make the movie, when the movie's actually being filmed, it is the director that has to take a lot of responsibility. And so my choice in Ron, I think, was a good one. And uh, especially in Underwater, it, it, we did anticipate that there could be problems. and. 
it is a very dangerous thing to shoot underwater. These actors are 30 feet beneath the sea. They, um, their way of breathing is from swimming. After they do a scene, they swim from, a, from one regulator to another regulator. And consequently, there's a lot of variables involved, and anything could happen. And it did concern me. Um, did you have to carry more insurance than you normally would on a film? No. Um, I think it was just a more, ex yeah, I, yeah, well, the answer is yes, I'm sorry. Uh, it's more, it extends into a different area, yeah. It extends into a different area, but in terms of the dollar figures and things, it's all about the same. And were there any accidents or untoward no, things? No, there are no accidents, and thank God. Yes. Well, as I said before, I really think this will be a big hit for you, Brian, and uh, I can't think of two more deserving people than you and Ron Howard, so congratulations on Splash, and um, hope to see you on the next project, whatever that might be. Well, thank you very much. Nice thanks meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. Nice interview. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> So you really went through quite a lot during the five years trying to get this picture together, didn't you? Why did it take five years to get all this together? And at one time I heard there were people like Bo Derrick and Warren Beatty and people like that involved, is that right? Your own success story is quite remarkable, from clerk to movie producer in five years. People would probably look at you and say, how did he do that? As the producer, were you quite concerned with all the possibilities for accidents during this show? Did you carry extra insurance? Were there any accidents? What was the budget on this film? And I read recently that now the average budget will be around $11 million. And did you come within time and budget? Now let me just give you some reactions. Okay.